Hello, Veteran 021 here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. I was fighting this Lunar Dragon in the last episode, the battle was taking forever and a day, so I decided to end the episode, and uh, this guy is proving to be quite a formidable opponent. He's got a ton of HP, he goes into mist form every now and then, kind of like the mist dragon. Um, I don't remember him from the other version of the After Years at all. This guy's new. I don't know. I don't know what we get for fighting him. Hopefully, he's almost dead. Because I'm getting sick of fighting this fucker. No, he's still alive. I don't know how much HP this fucker has, but he seemingly has a lot. And he's pretty powerful, too. And he likes to use Holy. Goodbye, Spoonie. Holy shit, man. I mean... <laughs> Why? Why is this guy so powerful? I mean, actually, he's not that powerful. He's just got a fucking shit ton of HP. And why is there no warning for this kind of fight? I mean, honestly, I would have skipped this guy had I known that it was a super boss. I would have saved my game, but no. Of course not. The game doesn't warn you about any of this shit. Ow. And what? Now he can attack twice in a row? Let me guess, Spoonie's gonna miss out. Uh, no, she's still not dead. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I can't believe this shit. I cannot believe I've been fighting this. I've been fighting this guy for like a half hour. He's still not dead. And now he's... Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Wow! You fucking cocksucker. Ah! Fucking cocksucker. I'm going to end up losing this fight. Not Bard Song. Holy shit. Damn it! Spoonie doesn't have enough magic points. Ow! Fucking bitch. Fuck! This is crazy. Fine, go into your mist form. That doesn't bother me. It gives me a chance to recover here. Fuck. What do you get for beating this guy? I hope it's like a fucking super... super weapon or something. Something good.
Yeah, we all need magic points, huh? Fuck it. Whatever you do, don't talk to petrified crystals. Absolutely not. Leave the petrified crystals alone. Do not touch them. Bad idea. No. What the fuck? Holy shit. Now he's doing an ice storm ability that fucking... Oh my god. This guy won't die! He won't fucking die! Why won't this fucker die? Thank goodness for that. Probably running out of X potions too. This is ridiculous. Got him! <laughs> yeah, bitch! Oh. Wow. Well, I wasn't prepared. It was my first time ever fighting him, but I got him. I get no experience? I don't get any experience from that? What the hell happened? May the young mage be granted a new power. Power surges from the crystal. Oh, okay, so we can learn the dual cast ability earlier than you could in the other version of the game. I see what this is for now. So who gets it? Should I give it to... Palum so we can have... You know, I I want to say Palum because that would just make his effectiveness even more useful. But honestly, any one of these characters could probably be good. But yeah, I am I'm gonna go, go with Palum because uh, being able to dual cast Flare and Meteor, in my opinion, is uh, in my opinion very worth it. All right. Cool. Time to go save my game. Actually, I'll just rest. Fuck it. I can't remember what enemy you have to actually fight in order to um, get dual cast in the other version. I think it's like a... I can't remember. I think it's like the Phantom Eye or... Something like that, but yeah, we're gonna have a nice little scene here between Kane and Golbez. Yeah, but that fucking Lunar Dragon that I just fought, that, that thing had to have had over 150,000 HP. I mean, that, that had a ridiculous amount of HP.
I'm sorry, I have nothing to say about this right now, because mainly I'm just drained from that. I'm just drained from that last boss fight. That that was fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> Spiral Blow Band. Okay. Cool. I like new bands. New bands are nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, I gotta save over this one. Whew! Man. That was ridiculous. Alright, took a little bit of a pause break. Went back to the interdimensional elevator, put the ninjas in my party, minus Edge. I got Riddy in my party, and this is the party I'm going to use for a little while, I think. There is a teleporter over here. Where does this go? Uh, it goes to Asura, apparently. Okay. Well, we'll come back to her in a second. Oh, look at that, we can get attacked. So yeah, I got my ninja party. Just wanted to level them up, basically. Got, uh... Is a Yoi equipped with the Yoichi bow and arrows because it's her best option right now. Uh, she's not a mage, so really, she's probably the only character I have that uh, is tailor made for a bow and arrow. So, there you go. So yeah, in this area, I'm probably just going to wander around and get the treasures, and then, uh, after that, go from there. I mean, I really don't have a plan for this area. I mean, it looks like they ditched the, uh, long, annoying dungeon parts for just making this area look like... Yeah, they just decided to make this area look like, uh, the Fame Mark. So, I guess that makes sense, right? go inside the houses though that's the real question no we cannot so yeah for the rest of the episode I'm just gonna try and find everything in this area I guess okay we can't go in there all right gold hourglass all right those are nice Really nice. Ooh, Lunar Curtain, yay! Anything else? Okay, we can't read any of the books. Okay, no new treasures, and... Okay, this is where the chamber is, that's where Leviathan is. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I do believe we want to fight uh, Asura before we fight Leviathan, obviously, for story reasons and if it's anything like the other versions of the game you need Rydia in your party for the next uh, couple battles so I don't know if I'm going to use this party or not I might use this party for the next episode for Asura I don't know I'll, we'll see how it goes um, 
Otherwise, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. In the next episode, I'll be showing off the Asura and Leviathan fights. So there you go. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.